Hi, I'm Feathers, and welcome to the QKey Preloader tutorial. In this video, I'll take you on a step-by-step -step guide on how to mod your TF2. Before we begin, here I am running an unmodded TF2 client. Look at these ugly particles. Gross. All right, first, to install the preloader, we're going to go to this game banana page, uh, which I'll link in the description. You want to scroll down here, all the way down, and click download. Next, once you get the file downloaded, you want to unzip it by clicking Extract All. The folder it spits out can go anywhere you want it to. It doesn't have to be in custom. It doesn't have to be anywhere in the TF directory. You can put it wherever you want. Here, I've already picked out a couple mods that I'm going to show you in this video. I picked out a music mod, a model mod, and a particle mod. Thanks to the preloader's uh, flexibility, they don't even need to be casual compatible. You can download pretty much anything, and the preloader should be able to handle it. It can handle VPKs, zip files, normal folders, all not casual compatible. All right, now that you have your mods installed and the preloader installed, it's time to begin. Start by running the runme.bat. The command line opening up here is completely normal, and it's a part of the application. Now we're going to follow these first time setup instructions. So first, you want to add your TF directory. Uh, we added a button to do this for you, so it shouldn't be that hard. If it can't find your TF2 installation, just click Browse and navigate to it normally. You can find it in Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Team Fortress 2, and then TF. You just want to click on that and then click Select Folder. Next, it's going to ask you if you want to install the included mods that come with the app. Uh, these are some mods that Kuki picked out because she thought they were cool. I would recommend just keeping install included mods on. This tab here is for people that are updating the preloader, uh, but we'll get to that later. Then you just want to click finish setup. And here we are. The first tab of the preloader I'll show you is the particle tab. From here, you can view your particle packs and select which ones you'd like. The preloader even lets you mix and match between the different ones. So I really like the get hit pack, but let's say I want the frozen medi beam. I'll go ahead and click select all here, or if you want to be more specific, you can go all the way down and click frozen medi beam right here. Um, I also kind of like the square series blood impact and blood trail. and. I think I like the bullet tracers as well. When you download a mod from Game Banana, there is a few different methods of installing it into the preloader. I'm going to go over the main three. VPKs, zips, and folders. Please note though, before we begin, HUDs, master config, animation packs, or custom crosshairs, these don't have to be preloaded and can just be thrown into custom like usual. So if we open up my custom folder, you can see I just keep this stuff in here. These do not have to be preloaded. Now that I'm done with that, let's begin the actual install process. All you have to do is simply drag and drop your mods over the window like this. So here's my particle mod, and here it is showing up down here. So I'm going to go ahead and select that. This is my model mod, a scattergun replacement. And here's my music mod. Sweet. So the next tab here is the install tab. Uh, this is where your standard non-particle mods are going to appear. So, here's the ones that I just installed. And some of the pre-installed ones. So, I'm going to get uh, flat textures. Note though, some mods you install are going to have the same files included. 
The preloader will warn you of this by putting a little exclamation point right next to it. Make sure the one you want to see more of is higher up. A higher number. Uh, you can hover over the caution symbol here to see just how many of the files are conflicting. So we can see here it's a, a wood texture that is being conflicted with. It's kind of like a Minecraft texture pack. So remember, the higher number one is the one that you want to see more of. So I want to see more of the flat textures. So I'm going to go here and then here. And we'll see kind of how that looks in game. Once you're done selecting everything you want, go ahead and click the install button at the bottom of the install tab. It might take a second, but that's okay. Alright, so mods installed successfully. Before we boot up TF2, well, look, it's telling us already. Do not forget to add plus exec with config into your launch options. Uh, you can do that by going to Steam, going to your Team Fortress 2 page, go ahead and click Manage, and then Properties. And then you just want to go ahead and copy and paste plus exec with config dot config. So I'll go ahead and do that. All right. Now the next thing you do is launch TF2. While TF2 is launching here, note that your load times might be a bit longer, especially if you load your game with a bunch of mods. Uh, this isn't something that can be fixed, but it's just a consequence of, you know, adding more files to the game. So don't be afraid if you have to wait just a little bit longer. Once you're in game, you'll be able to tell if the preloader is working due to this line of text right here. Casual Particle Preloader Active. And uh, let's just queue up into Casual and see if those mods are working. I'm going to go ahead and queue for all the maps here. Nice. Let's take a look at those mods. Well, you can see that this one is working. Let's see if our map sound one is working. And it looks like our particles, our animations, it looks like it's all working. So that's going to conclude the install section of this video. Next, we'll go over how to update the preloader. All right, this section is for those of you who already have a version of the preloader and want to update to a new one. Luckily for you, Kuki has made this process super, super easy. So first of all, don't delete your old version of the preloader. Uh, as you can see here, I've named my new and old ones respectively so that it's a little easier for us. Um, so just don't delete it until we're done installing the new version of the preloader. If you forgot how to do that, just go ahead and go to the game and Anna page, scroll all the way down, click download, and extract the file that it gives you. Once you have it installed, we're going to go ahead and up and open it up like usual with the runme.bat. And we're going to auto detect our TF2 installation like last time. Except now, the Import Previous Settings tab is going to mean something to us. It's going to ask you to find the app underscore settings dot json file of your old preloader. This is why we can't delete the old one yet. So you're just going to go ahead and click Browse, navigate to your old preloader, click Casual Preloader, and then we're going to find the app underscore settings dot json file. Go ahead and click Open. 
And what this is going to do is import your old selection and all of your old mods. Go ahead and click Finish Setup. And as we can see, it's kept all of my old selections and my old loader order as well. Uh, and so that is how you update your casual preloader. That is all I'm going to be covering in this tutorial. For instructions on how to install it on Linux, please make your way over to the GitHub page, which I will also link in the description. And if you have any questions, please feel free to put them in the comments, or if you're having a real problem, go ahead and join the Discord, which again, I'll link in the description, and we'll try and get it sorted out there. Thank you for watching.